What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at meta formations and tactics and look this has been requested for me for a, for a long time right and I think that the way that eFootball23 is at the moment there is a balance and issue there that defensively the game is weighed in favor of very strong defenders you know players that can just like literally just push you off the ball um like be very very aggressive there's no real re risk and a lot of reward for just like you know like dragging defenders out of position dragging teammate press te teammates into in and out of position um because you can kind of recover and especially when you look at some of the players stats and stuff like that and with the boost that they get to defensive awareness uh, there is kind of a little bit of an, a balance issue that hopefully they do look at in the October update um I mean for somebody like me I like to play out wide I don't like to play um what actually is the meta at the moment which we will get into in a second but we have three formations that we are going to talk about and discuss two of them are kind of similar with little alterations and then the other one is kind of the main meta I would say at the moment for the top ranked players or if you are looking to just get wins man if you are looking to just dominate and get wins more often than not because look at the end of the day right every online game and I keep saying this in all my videos no matter what online game that you play, whether it's Call of Duty, there's always a good gun in Call of Duty, and then they patch that, and then there's another meta gun. NBA 2K, there's always like little bits and pieces that they, that isn't balanced that they do address in future updates. FIFA is the same. I mean, we remember PES 2016 and the speed that was online in my club. Uh, it was just pure uh, speed, you know, players. And then obviously we have years of eFootball or PES where this time defense is the big one. You know what I mean? It's just like going in and absolutely destroying people defensively. Um so yeah and i would say that v1.0 is all about wing play which is why i enjoyed it as much as i did and dribbles and stuff so nobody is forcing you to play the meta i mean i don't play the meta i play out wide i play something that doesn't really work and that isn't really rewarded but i get more kind of enjoyment out of you know whether i win lose or draw a nice kind of bit of trickery on the wing cutting in and scoring a goal um and especially, you know, play how you want to play. But obviously, as I said, there is certain things that work more often than not. And there is stuff that works very, very, very effectively. So we are going to take a look at the first meta formation. So this is a 5-2-3. You can obviously modify it depending on how attack and base you want to go to a 5-2-1-2, which is a 5-3-2. But I definitely think this 5-2-3 is a very, very, very good formation. Now, what we are going to do here, obviously, is you guys will notice that I am playing long ball counter. Now, my manager and my players are set up to play out wide. Um, so if we do change the team play style to out wide, that's going to max out at 100. But long ball counter, as you see here, long ball counter and quick counter, we will be doing an extra video on those. But all you need to know about those two play styles is they are the meta at the moment. It's about the minute you get the ball back from a defensive piece of interceptions or from a block or anything like that, you're on the attack straight away and your AI and your players, your teammates that you're not controlling are making those runs to get in past uh, the back line of the opponent or in towards the opponent's goal, as they say there. So depending on which manager that you want and with, depending on a bit of play style that you might prefer a quick counter compared to long ball counter, they are the two best formations there at the moment. So when we go to long ball counter here, all we are going to do to change this formation from the base formation of the 5-2-3 is basically just have our individual tactics set to defensive on one of our fullbacks, which is Davies. Depending on which way you want to play and set up your team, you can have one of your fullbacks that's just going to stay uh, defendant, not push forward at all, right? Usually I pick it on the player that is more attack based. Uh, so Davies is there. And then for the defense, we're going to play counter target on Messi. So what we want to do here is we want Messi to stay forward with Neymar and with uh, Lewandowski, who I have chosen as my, my trio of stars here to play up front. We don't want Messi coming back, tracking back. We want Messi to stay up to give the option that he's going to link all the play. Because to be honest with you, lads, once the ball goes past midfield, you're into an attacking opportunity where you can just do a couple of little intricate passes, triangles, touch and goes, over the tops, few tricks, whatever works for you centrally. You're overloading the midfield of the area uh, or the central areas of the pitch defensively and attacking. Um, so you don't really need to worry about like, you know, like passing the ball in midfield around. It's just kind of more of a direct path with this formation. Now, if you want to go overkill on this, you could go deep line, but obviously the only players that you can go 
deep line on are the strikers because you are playing five at the back so i don't really recommend that and if you also wanted to go defensive here or anchoring you could do that as well on your other right back which is maldini or of course you could do it on makalele um or goretzka if depending on who you want so looking at this team then as well you are like kind of having get a lovely mix here you've got alaba rudiger and van dijk who apart from beckenbauer i would say um and up meccano you've got probably three of the best center backs there that you could possibly have maldini is playing right back so his defensive awareness you can interlink that with somebody like Kimmich, cancelo depending on how attacking you want to go and then you know makalele goretzka there's lots of alternatives check out my other videos where i give you alternatives for like best emfs uh, to buy on any budget like Barrios could go in there um, Paddy V if you have Paddy V uh, Mataus if you have Mataus you could put Pedri in there and then the rest is up to you whoever that you pick I usually like to have one kind of like tall fast um athletic center forward either Haaland or Lewandowski um who's on a form at the moment so Lewandowski is on a form he's not on my bench but he is on my reserves so I can just slot him in there no problem and then obviously we have Neymar and Messi who's going to be all about that little intricate passing finesse shots tricks in the central area of the pitch so that is formation number one so moving on to the second one in our game plan list here we're going to go to the second one, which is a 3-2-3-2, most commonly known as a 3-5-2, a modified 3-5-2. Now, I think this is probably the best um, formation in the game at the moment. You guys will see there again, my team play style level is only 78. The reason for this is because my manager and team uh, and my players are not set up to play quick counter. They're set up to play out wide. So again, if I change this to out wide, it's going to go to 94. But for this one, we want quick counter. Now, the reason why we have this formation and this team is, again, I will go into it in a second, but the individual instructions pretty much stay the same, right? So because we're playing three at the back now, we want to have that little bit of extra cover, right? So we want to put either defensive on one of our left or right midfielders, right? So Carlos here. And then we also want to put either defensive or anchoring on our DMF. So in this case, it's Paddy V. Um, now, if we want to go overkill with this and we want to have as much um, kind of defense Sol solid like solidness as possible we can also go deep line here as well so we can go deep line on Patrick Vieira which can stay there and then we could also double down and go counter target again what we did the last time on Neymar or else for Mario to stay up so that they're not tracking back um so we could do that on Neymar but that one isn't as important I would say as the defensive and as the anchoring that is what you want to do you want to keep your left back or your left midfielder and your right midfielder as the links you need to you need them to play as wing backs right um similar to how kind of i suppose city play where they're literally when they are in possession they have the ball they're bombing forward when they don't have the ball they're trying to get back and defend and then all also what we want to do is with patrick vieira here we want patrick vieira sitting back and defending this area here okay we want to goretzka neymar romario and Lewandowski as our main attack and threat and then manually bring the ball forward with carlos and cancelo and still have enough variety to be able to defend at the back and when we win the ball quick counter a couple of short zippy passes boom straight up and again looking at this squad here neymar top five player in the game or mario i would say top seven player in the game Vieira and then your back three here you can interlink these with anyone that you really want like usually I would try and pick players that are up on form but uh, Nikunku who I did a review on check that out he's a perfect player here um, in that AMF role obviously his rating will go up when you get his team play style level up but again all you want is somebody that's good on the ball to link the passage of play you could either play De Jong there you could play Ronaldinho there whoever is up and whoever you fancy to play these players are interchangeable again Lewandowski you could also put a two-man up front of you could have Neymar and you could you know switch this to an SS um, and just kind of have it more centrally that you could do this you could put these two boys here and then have a little tri tripod there which changes the formation slightly to a 3-2-2-3 three, two, two, three. so but I definitely think keeping him as an attacking and having a flat two up there is probably the way to go so last but not least lads we do have our final one which is if I can go into it here uh what am I going into sorry lads we do have our final and I think this is probably the meta formation at the moment that is working the best for pretty much anyone like look at the end of the day most people play the game to win games and to dominate games and to get up the divisions right if you are looking to have fun 
these don't apply to you. Maybe the next video that I do where, where it's the anti, anti meta, where you can just frustrate people that are trying to play, you know, sweat mode or try hard, um, where you can get results. This is probably, I would say, the ultimate uh, formation at the moment and tactic. So we're going to go a long ball counter again. We're going to have a flat four at the back and we're going to have a flat two in midfield. And then we're going to have our, like our three up top. So we're going to be playing three strikers up top. Three, three up at the top has been super overpowered in the last couple of PES games and it follows through to this eFootball23 update as well. Now, the one thing I will say about this one is I see a lot of people change this to a 4-2-4, right? I definitely think that is if you are a very, very good player and you don't need this kind of like option here of having Messi track, track back a little bit. Um, I definitely think the 4-2-4 is probably slightly overkill. You should be able to score with these three boys here. Now, Tactic wise, I mean, all we're going to be doing here again, we can change this as well. If we want to make a, a CB out of this, we can put a CB in here and we could just bring in, if we wanted a little bit more defensive capabilities, we could bring in Van Dyke there or whatever if you do want to have that. But I definitely think having a right back and a left back is very important with this formation because all we're going to be doing here, right, is we have this, this block here. Uh, Makaleli, Rudiger up in Meccano and Goretzka. And then we have this block here. Neymar, Lewandowski, Romario, Messi. And then the rest of the players are just kind of chasing the ball, getting passing lanes, blocking passing lanes, intercepting. Um, and obviously when we take a look at players, I've also done a video, I think it should be out by now, where we have the, you know players like this that have interception player skills, man marking, um, up in Meccano, as you can see here. He also has interception. He has blocker. He has man marking, fighting spirits, sliding tackle. Uh, most of the players here, Alaba is the same. You'll see there that he has um interception so you're going to be getting not you know like interceptions every now and again but all this formation is about is just literally getting the ball to these four players as quickly as you possibly can now depending on your skill level you probably will concede a couple of goals but this is i think the number one meta there isn't really a rank on them the three ones that i've showed you are the three meta ones and you can interlink them with sub tactic and all that we will do another video on that if you wanted to change your sub tactic or whatever um but yeah, individual instructions for this one then are as follows. I would usually keep uh, the anchoring on, again, one of my left backs or my right backs. Usually I would put it on the more attacking of the two. So Alaba can stay there. And then for defense, we are just going to go counter target again on Messi, who's AMF. So we're going to have tri like four players up front at all times. And then we're going to have deep line on... Um, Makalele. So he's going to stay back. So technically we are defending with five players and we're attacking with five players. That's basically what this formation is about using the long ball counter. So yeah, I kept it as short and sweet as I possibly can. I'm going to be back with an anti-meta formation video as well. And any questions you guys have, anything you want me to go into, individual instructions or anything like that. Um, I'm also going to do a video on sub-tactic and how to kind of confuse your opponent and stuff. A lot of people ask me for that. But yeah, it comes down to whether you want to play this way, if you want to get a lot more wins, if you want to be more consistently able, because this does work. You know, these formations do work. Obviously, skill level come into it. I mean, you know, I see people there and they can play any formation and dominate. I see people play this formation and struggle. So it obviously does depend on your skill level. There's a couple of different factors, but you are setting yourself up. If you are an average player, this can get you very, very good results. And if you are a great player, it can get you into Division 1 easily with any of these three meta formations. I think this one shades it. You just have to be confident on the ball and be able to put your chances away when you get it. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later, slightly longer than I thought, but don't forget to subscribe if this helped you out. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.